Hi, this is Paul on the Plane. Welcome to episode 11 of Faking Space and our season one finale. This video is part two of our forensic image analysis series on the Electro L, a weather satellite the Russian space agency Roscosmos claims is pointed at Russia at all times, about 22,000 miles above the Earth. In part one, we show that if you download files directly from the Electro L FTP server and analyze the source files, you will see a weird dividing vertical line down the center of the Earth disk at exactly 2030 each day. That's military time, so about 8.30 p.m. Russia time, which is obviously really, really weird. We also show that each of the FTP folders for each day and each time, which is every 30 minutes, that the 10th JPEG file is just a white disk image. And it's the same size and dimensions as all the other JPEG files in every other folder, every day, all day. We also showed there was no noise and no ambient light from the images from the electro L of the Earth, and that the compression signature in JPEG Snoop, even from the original source file from every 30 minutes, shows it's from a Sony CyberShot camera. Okay. Here in part two, we will be accessing the same FTP server. We are going to navigate through the links to the Electro L2, then 2017, and then the month of June, and go to June 20th. We're going to look at the time of 2030 and pull up the quote-unquote original JPEG, and what you'll see here is a very weird anomaly, this fluorescent green line. You can also hit the back button and go to 20 hundred hours, so 30 minutes before, and see an even larger green anomaly, a green line that looks like multiple lines here. And then the subsequent time folders, you'll sometimes see these weird green smudges all over the disk at various places. This appears to happen on other days as well, but always when the light is starting to go away or behind the disk as Roscosmos is presenting these images from the Electro L. And all of these anomalies, from the green line, green smudges, and the weird dividing line we showed in part one, all happen with the night images only. If we put the photo in Photoscape and we use the backlighting feature, we can see the weird dividing line again, which is very strange. You may argue that the weird green line is some sort of glitch when the different channels of the camera are combined, but then you'll have to reconcile while it doesn't happen with every shot and never during the quote unquote daytime images and only when we're seeing the dark side of the disc. The other point I want to make here is that as you've seen, every single time folder contains 10 files and then the RGB is the combined one. The other images, JPEG 1, 2, JPEG 3, etc., all have some colors and some are black and white and some have clouds. So if these are all the different channels, how come when they combine all the images, the clouds disappear? Apparently we can see the clouds all over the dark side of the disk. Each folder contains a few pictures of clouds all over. But when all of the data is combined into one image, the clouds on the dark side disappear? Very strange. And of course, if you put all of these images into Forensically, you'll see no noise, no ambient light, meaning they are just pasted onto a fake background, a black background meant to be the infinite vacuum of space. Extremely weird stuff going on with these images from the Electro L2. All right, that's a wrap on part two of the Electro L and episode 11 of Faking Space, our forensic image analysis series. That means we've come to the end of season one. We hope you've enjoyed what you've seen so far, and we hope you are doing some of your own forensic analyses of photos that we are given by NASA and the other space agencies. We have a ton more in store, so we will be producing a season two of Faking Space, which will cover some of the other space agencies, a ton more from NASA, including images from Mars, our moon, and the more recent images from the TRAPPIST system in NASA's exoplanet exploration. You won't want to miss it. So with that, thank you for watching. On behalf of Archer Sage, this has been Paul on the Plane. We'll see you next season.